Windows Server 2008 Interview Question and Answer by Abhamani Gautam What are some of the new tools and features provided by Windows Server 2008? Windows Server 2008 now provides a desktop environment similar to Microsoft Windows Vista and includes tools also found in Vista such as the new backup snap in and the BitLocker drive encryption feature. Windows Server 2008 also provides the new IIS 7 web server and the Windows deployment service. What are the different editions of Windows Server 2008? The entry-level version of Windows Server 2008 is the standard edition. The Enterprise Edition provides a platform for large enterprise-wide networks. The Data Center Edition provides support for unlimited Hyper-V virtualization and advanced clustering services. The Web Edition is a scaled-down version of Windows Server 2008 intended for use as a dedicated web server. The standard Enterprise and Data Center editions can be purchased with or without the Hyper-V virtualization technology. What to hardware considerations should be an important part of the planning process for a Windows Server 2008 deployment? Any server on which you will install Windows Server 2008 should have at least the minimum hardware requirement for running the network operating system. Server hardware should also be on the Windows Server 2008 hardware compatibility list to avoid the possibility of hardware and network operating system incompatibility. What are the options for installing Windows Server 2008? You can install Windows Server 2008 on a server not currently configured with an OS, or you can upgrade existing servers running Windows 2000 Server and Windows Server 2003. How do you configure and manage the Windows Server 2008 core installation? This stripped-down version of Windows Server 2008 is managed from the command line. Which control panel tool enables you to automate the running of server utilities and other applications? The task scheduler enables you to schedule the launching of tools such as Windows Backup and Disk Defragmenter. What are some of the items that can be accessed via the System Properties dialog box? You can access Virtual Memory Settings and the Device Manager via the System Properties dialog box. When a child domain is created in the domain tree, what type of trust relationship exists between the new child domain and the tree's root domain? Child domains and the root domain of a tree are assigned transitive trusts. This means that the root domain and child domain trust each other and allow resources in any domain in the tree to be accessed by users in any domain in the tree. What is the primary function of domain controllers? The primary function of domain controllers is to validate users to the network. However, domain controllers also provide the catalog of active directory objects to users on the network. What are some of the other roles that a server running Windows Server 2008 could fill on the network? The server running Windows Server 2008 can be configured as a domain controller, a file server, a print server, a web server, or an application server. Windows servers can also have roles and features that provide services such as DNS, DHCP, and routing and remote access. Which Windows Server 2008 tools make it easy to manage and configure the server's roles and features? 
The Server Manager window enables you to view the roles and features installed on a server and also to quickly access the tools used to manage these various roles and features. The Server Manager can be used to add and remove roles and features as needed. What Windows Server 2008 service is used to install client operating systems over the network? Windows Deployment Services WDS enables you to install client and server operating systems over the network to any computer with a PXE-enabled network interface. What domain services are necessary for you to deploy the Windows Deployment Services on your network? Windows Deployment Services requires that a DHCP server and a DNS server be installed in the domain. How is WDS configured and managed on a server running Windows Server 2008? The Windows Deployment Services Snap-in enables you to configure the WDS server and add boot and install images to the server. What is the difference between a basic and dynamic drive in the Windows Server 2008 environment? The basic disk embraces the MS-DOS disk structure. The basic disk can be divided into partitions simple volumes. Dynamic disks consist of a single partition that can be divided into any number of volumes. Dynamic disks also support Windows Server 2008 RAID implementations. What is RAID in Windows Server 2008? RAID, or redundant array of independent disks, is a strategy for building fault tolerance into your file servers. RAID enables you to combine one or more volumes on separate drives so that they are accessed by a single drive letter. Windows Server 2008 enables you to configure RAID 0 a striped set, RAID 1 the mirror set and RAID 5 disk striping with parity. What conceptual model helps provide an understanding of how network protocol stacks such as TCP slash IP work? The OSI model, consisting of the application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, and physical layers, helps describe how data is sent and received on the network by protocol stacks. What protocol stack is installed by default when you install Windows Server 2008 on a network server? TCP slash IPv4 and V6 is the default protocol for Windows Server 2008. It is required for Active Directory implementations and provides for connectivity on heterogeneous networks. How is a server running Windows Server 2008 configured as a domain controller, such as the domain controller for the root domain or a child domain? Installing the Active Directory on a server running Windows Server 2008 provides you with the option of creating a root domain for a domain tree or of creating child domains in an existing tree. Installing Active Directory on the server makes the server domain controller. What are some of the tools used to manage Active Directory objects in a Windows Server 2008 domain? When the Active Directory is installed on a server making it a domain controller a set of Active Directory snap-ins is provided. The Active Directory Users and Computers Snap-in is used to manage Active Directory objects such as user accounts, computers, and groups. The Active Directory Domains and Trusts Snap-in enables you to manage the trusts that are defined between domains. The Active Directory Sites and Services Snap-in provides for the management of domain sites and subnets. 
How are domain user accounts created and managed? The Active Directory Users and Computers Snap In provides the tools necessary for creating user accounts and managing account properties. Properties for user accounts include settings related to logon hours, the computers to which a user can log on, and the settings related to the user's password. What type of Active Directory objects can be contained in a group? A group can contain users, computers, contacts, and other nested groups. What type of group is not available in a domain that is running at the mixed mode functional level? Universal groups are not available in a mixed mode domain. The functional level must be raised to Windows 2003 or Windows 2008 to make these groups available. What types of Active Directory objects can be contained in an organizational unit? Organizational units can hold users, groups, computers, contacts, and other us. The organizational unit provides you with a container directly below the domain level that enables you to refine the logical hierarchy of how your users and other resources are arranged in the Active Directory. What are Active Directory sites in Windows Server 2008? Active Directory sites are physical locations on the network's physical topology. Each regional domain that you create is assigned to a site. Sites typically represent one or more IP subnets that are connected by IP routers. Because sites are separated from each other by a router, the domain controllers on each site periodically replicate the Active Directory to update the global catalog on each site segment. Can servers running Windows Server 2008 provide services to clients when they are not part of a domain? Servers running Windows Server 2008 can be configured to participate in a workgroup. The server can provide some services to the workgroup peers but does not provide the security and management tools provided to domain controllers. What does the use of group policy provide you as a network administrator? Group policy provides a method of controlling user and computer configuration settings for Active Directory containers such as sites, domains, and us. GPOs are linked to a particular container, and then individual policies and administrative templates are enabled to control the environment for the users or computers within that particular container. What tools are involved in managing and deploying group policy, GPOs and their settings, links, and other information such as permissions can be viewed in the group policy management snap-in. How do you deal with group policy inheritance issues? GPOs are inherited down through the Active Directory tree by default. You can block the inheritance of settings from upline GPOs for a particular container such as an OU or a local computer by selecting Block Inheritance for that particular object. If you want to enforce a higher level GPO so that it overrides directly linked GPOs, you can use the enforce command on the inherited or upline GPO. How can you make sure that network clients have the most recent Windows updates installed and have other important security features such as the Windows Firewall enabled before they can gain full network access? You can configure a network policy server the service available in the network policy and access services role. The network policy server can be configured to compare desktop client settings with health validators to determine the level of network access afforded to the client.
What is the purpose of deploying local DNS servers? The domain DNS server provides for the local mapping of fully qualified domain names to IP addresses. Because the DNS is a distributed database, the local DNS servers can provide record information to remote DNS servers to help resolve remote requests related to fully qualified domain names on your network. In terms of DNS, what is a caching-only server? A caching-only DNS server supplies information related to queries based on the data it contains in its DNS cache. Caching-only servers are often used as DNS forwarders. Because they are not configured with any zones, they do not generate network traffic related to zone transfers. How a range of IP addresses is defined for a Windows Server 2008 DHCP server. The IP addresses supplied by the DHCP server are held in a scope. A scope that contains more than one subnet of IP addresses is called a super scope. IP addresses in a scope that you do not want to lease can be included in an exclusion range. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe the channel for more upcoming video. Thanks a lot for watching video Abhamani Gautam.